What is up everybody? Here we are today with the resource challenge. So the maps for the resource challenge are down the river and flooded fields, which uh <laughs> I don't really like this pairing of maps. I think these two maps play out extremely differently. Um but today we're going to be playing the cat ship buggy deck, but we're going to be playing the tick tank variant. So pretty much the same. The only difference really is uh is tick tank over scorpion. I think the scorpion is slightly better in this deck because what you want to do is make buggies and then protect them with scorpions, which requires mobility. Burrowing a tick tank, comboing it with a buggy isn't great. It's decent with the cat ship and the phantom though. So you're really looking to play more high end with the tick tank. Whereas the scorpion tank lets you play more of a low end game plan. Anyway, let's do some resource challenge. Okay, so up against Sursif. Kane and Harvester. Kane means probably tech at the moment. That double harvester, yeah, okay. So if he's blind double harvester and he's playing Kane, it's probably like a triple tech deck. So the game plan is just to finish the game ASAP. So we just really want to keep the pressure on here. He's also opened rifles, so we're going to go for a third rifle, really keep the pressure on. He's probably going to tech switch now, so I'm going to move this rifle up. I'm okay with this guy dying here, because uh, when he tech switches, I don't want to be... I don't want to be stuck. Uh, pop cap. Okay, so we're going to win the first missile pretty much as quickly as it's possible to win a missile. Which is going to be 47 seconds, it looks like. It's about as fast as you can do it on this map. And then we're going to go cat ship. Yo, Flintstock, thank you for the five gift subs, my dude. And then we're going to uh, we're going to use the cat ship to maintain pressure on the missile. We do want to we do want to force him to keep spending, but. At the moment, he's only building militants and lasers, which are so cheap that it really won't impact the speed of his tech units that much. He can't push into a defensive cat ship. This is going to go very badly for him. Yep, there's the first tech unit, the Widowmaker. So he's going to take this. We need to get Tick Tank now. We're going to boost it to get it into position because I want it borrowed. I'm going to move the cat ship up here. And we we'll get another Tick Tank. So now we're not really looking to contest all three pads. We're just looking to hold two pads against these Widowmakers. Uh, obelisk. Obelisk is a bit of a problem. I'm going to make another cat ship and just send it around here. Because we're going to lose this tick tank, but we want to be on all three pads now. Because the obelisk is going to secure the bottom for him. And there we go. Many Widowmakers have fallen this day. Okay, so we are up against Hassan, and he is playing Liang. Which tells us very little, because... Who is playing Liang these days? I feel like Liang should tell me something because it's like so insane to be playing Liang now that it's like a clue to what he's playing, but I just don't know. I don't know that there's anything that is actually best with Liang, so we're definitely going to look to charge the missile for now because we don't know what he's playing and he does have the Liang, so it might just be mega tech units. We're going to push in for the 2v1 over here. Looks like he's happy to charge as well, which is a little weird. He looks like he's aggressively trying to charge. Which is very strange when he's playing Liang. If he had like an MG, I'd be like, yeah, sure, it's, you know, Liang MG, but there's no MG yet, so... I really don't know what he's up to. I'm expecting an air tech switch, because, you know, that's what pretty much every GDI player does. Haven't seen it yet, though. Okay, this is surprising. Let's go and scout. Wait and see what he does next. Oh, he does have two harvester. Okay, so I missed him building the second harvester. That makes sense. That it doesn't really make sense that he's charging the missile so aggressively, though. Um, I guess we tick tank to deal with the uh, disruptor. This is another spot where I'd rather have a scorpion because I just want. The, I want to. I need to move around. I need to move around these missiles with the tick tank. And obviously, scorpion is better when it's moving. So we're going to use buggies to deal with the missiles because obviously. The disruptor will stop us using infantry. And he's gonna try and get to my base, it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna boost the tick tank and go and try and intercept. It looks like it's just a base kill deck. I don't know why he's playing Liang though. He might just be dead here, honestly. Okay, get a phantom for the Kodiak. Yeah, we'd actually lose we lose a whole missile's worth of uh of our base for that uh, disruptor. Yeah, it looks like it's looks like it's just a base kill deck. But he didn't he didn't get the first missile, so he can't finish off the base here. If he had got the first missile, he just wins. But 
He didn't, so he doesn't. Disrupt a man's scary unit. I think uh, I think Jackson would be better though in that in that spot. Because it just kills off the base. Get you, like you kill the base so much quicker. Okay. Up against Mad Dog. He's playing strong arm, which means probably not a uh, not a tech deck. Probably an APC deck would be my guess. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let him charge. Generally speaking, I think the APC deck is a little weak first missile in early game because uh, it doesn't it needs it needs all three buildings to to function well. We're gonna go really fast buggy against him as well. That probably we go fast buggy. He probably goes pitbull to respond or orca. If he goes pitbull, we can just go tick tank. All right, so let's get the buggy in here. We'll just move away from the turret. No need to fight it if we don't have to. And then we'll see if he goes Orca or uh, or if he goes for Pitbull. He's gone Pitbull, so we'll go Tick Tank and we'll block him out from this pad as well. Alright, cool. So nice first missile. And we'll get some buggy for the uh, for the missiles. Get this borrowed so it doesn't take too much damage from the missiles. And then bring in the buggy. Retarget this. Oh, actually, I just need to retarget this one. And we'll get another tick tank set up over here as well. Gonna use the tick tank to draw fire from the rifles and then try and move in with the my own militants. If he doesn't pay attention, then I get to kill his rifles for free. Yeah, there you go. See, the rifles shot my tick tank the whole time. So we get to kill them for free effectively. We'll move the tick tank up one tile and we'll get a cat ship out. I'll retarget here. Alright, cool. So we're in pretty good control of the map now. If it is a... Yeah, there's the Orca. I'm pretty sure it's the APC deck, given the units we've seen. We'll just go grab the third pad, and then we'll go for a Phantom. And that should be game over. The Buggy's actually doing a pretty good job against this Orca as well. Alright, nice. We, we, had, we had the money for Phantom if we needed it. Uh, the, the, the APC deck really needs to get an APC into position to get rolling. Which obviously he was unable to do. Okay, bada bum, big fan, big fan, love this guy's name. Uh, so one thing I forgot to mention last time I was on this map, um, it's really important to move your harvest to here at the start. This is really bad, because once the first uh, Tiberian patch empties here, your harvester has to travel like, what is this, one, two, three, four, five tiles to start harvesting again. It's such a huge amount of money lost during that t downtime when your harvest is traveling five tiles. So yeah, it's... Uh, it's really bad to have your Harvester in the default position on this map. If you're going to Harvester, it's not so bad, but it's still pretty bad. Okay, so I should have gone War Factory and gone Buggies. I misclicked on the uh, on the Air Tower. Going Air Tower is bad because Fnatic plus Bike will easily beat Laser plus Catship. Oh, I misclicked my Catship as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I just messed up. I misclicked the Catship and now uh, didn't get it on the pad in time. But as you can see, like the, the bike plus Fnatic will beat up on Catship plus Laser really, really badly. So it's not a fight I want to take. Like I want to be War Factory against Nod. But yeah, we're gonna go into Tick Tank now. He actually hasn't made a unit in ages, which makes me think he's gone double harvester. If he has gone double harvester, it's very bad for me as well, because obviously my late game isn't that powerful. Yeah, he has. Okay. So we're going to need to win against some tech units here, which sucks. I'm going to try and harass this half. That's an Inferno deck. Okay, that's not so bad. We have Phantoms, so we can beat an Inferno deck. Although he's going to be double half Inferno Phantom. So it's going to come down to uh, it's going to come down to a Phantom Mirror, where he has a lot more money than us. Of course, every time we kill an Inferno, we get quite a lot of value back. So it's not the worst thing ever. Alright, so we just got two Infernos immediately, which is very nice. Didn't even lose the catch up over here. Probably gonna lose it here, but we'll do some damage to these bikes in return. And I guess, yeah, we only have Phantom. We don't have, um, we don't have bikes, so we can't do bike spamming. Okay, so here comes the Phantom Mirror. This is gonna be really important. Who wins this? It's really important to get a ch some chip damage on your opponent's Phantom, because Phantoms don't quite one-shot each other. Ooh, we use the Obelisk to eat my Phantom shot. That's kind of cute. I quite like that play, actually. I think that's nice. Okay, 
All right, so there goes the obelisk. We're gonna need another tick tank to go up here. The tick tank down here should beat the phantom, I'm pretty sure. Oh, sorry, the uh, fanatics. We're going to boost this and get it on the pad. My phantom will kill his in one volley if I shoot it with laser. Yeah, like that. If you get the chip damage, then you can one shot them, which is huge. And then we can bring this down here to fight the inferno. Let's move this. Don't get bombed, tick tank. No! <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Go, buggy, go! Ah, oh, we won the game anyway. Nice. <laughs> That was close. I should have just left the Inferno where uh, the Tick Tank where it was. It would have survived the Inferno shot just fine. Moving it was a misplay. Alright, we're up against Axiton from my stream. What a classic stream sniper. So, I don't know if Axiton, Axiton used to play this like meme MSV Predator deck. I don't know if he's still playing that. If he is, it's actually a very bad matchup for me because Predators beat Tick Tanks like pretty hard. And if he has double boosted predators, they're going to annihilate tick tanks. And I have no air to ground, so I really have no way to beat boosted predator tanks. So yeah, I'm hoping that he's switched from his meme deck, but if not, then we might be in trouble. We definitely need to charge the missile as well, because the later it goes, the more likely he is to get his MSV predator stuff going on. And we definitely want tick as quickly as possible. So we have the shock trooper. I don't know if that was in the deck before. I think it was. I'm not too scared of shocks. Shocks are also horrendous against cat ship, which is great for us. Because if he's relying on shock troopers, then obviously the cat ship's going to be insane. Looks like we're going to get first missile here. Yeah, okay, I think he is doing the predator thing still. Which is really not great for me. Not where I want to be. Buggies are very good if your opponent doesn't play a tank, but obviously a predator is a tank. Yeah, he is doing the predator MSV. Okay, so this is going to be tough. Definitely need to win the game ASAP, and we need to get a Burrowed Tick Tank as well, so that he has to fight Burrowed Tick Tank. Moving this in to die. Oh, that Tick Tank's gonna get annihilated. Oh my god. Oh, thank god it Burrowed in time. Alright, if it had taken a second shot on Burrowed, we would have been in a lot of trouble, but it Burrowed exactly on time. So we're, we're okay. Alright, so as I said, Cat Ship annihilates shots, which is great for us. Don't think we have time to go after the MSV, though. Here comes another Pred. I need to use lasers to keep it away from my Tick Tank. Dogs don't care about that. The lasers should just win me the game here. If he doesn't have a good answer to lasers outside of uh, Shock Trooper, and Shock Trooper is terrible against Cat Ship. Nice. I knew he was going to bring more shocks in, so I just brought the Cat Ship in anticipation. Now we just need to hold these pads. And Cat Ship actually does okay against dogs because of obviously the AoE. Alright, I think we got him, boys. I think we got him. Yeah, nice. Get the block up here. Oh, just about. Nailed it, boys! See you later, Axiton, you stream sniper. Okay. Photo flow. Don't know what that means. But I like it. Let's see if he's... Oh, oh Harvester go here. Alright, cool. Let's see where his Harvester is. Okay, he's moved his Harvester as well, which is uh, a sign that he knows how to play the map at least. Because I think that is actually a huge part of this map. I think it's kind of dumb that they have a map where, like, the Harvester goes to the wrong place, effectively. Or maybe he has no Harv and he's MG. <laughs> no, he did. He does have Harv. So MG is horrendous against Cat Ship, so I'm pretty happy to see MG here. Super don't care about MGs when I have Cat Ship in my deck. This thing, like, two shots borrowed MGs. It just absolutely annihilates them. Ah, oh, Shock Troopers. This guy's deck looks really bad against Cat Ship. Yeah, it's gonna one-shot these moving MGs as well. See ya! <laughs> Savage. Uh, okay, so he's got talent. I could go buggy, but I'm just gonna go phantom, I think. If I had bikes, I would have gone bikes, but I'm just gonna go phantom here. Talon is actually an annoying unit for sure against this deck because I don't have bikes. Any Nod deck that doesn't have bikes is always going to have a little bit of a hard time against Talons. Alright, he's making just infinite Talons, so we'll definitely go buggy now. I mean, yeah. I think we're probably in okay shape here.
We've got pretty good map control. I think we're probably going to win this one. Yeah, okay. Good game, photo float. Good game, my dude. Okay, Tomic with two Ks playing Jade. Let's take bets now on whether or not he has a chemical unit in his deck or if he's just playing Jade. So he has gone for fast bikes. So I've just not made a harvester yet and then I'll make a harvester and send it down here. The fact he hasn't made a second unit makes me feel pretty confident about going harvester because it means he's probably also gone. He probably just went bike into harvester. I'm guessing he's going to go towards my harvester with his bikes. I'll send another laser down there. And probably he's going to have chuggy. People who go bike opening very, very often have chuggy. So I'm going to move these rifles forwards. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Oh, who saw that coming? Uh, Alright, I'm going to send a buggy down here because I can't afford Tick Tank yet. And I just want something that survives the Chuggy long enough to fire the missile. Again, this would be a good spot for bikes, but no bikes in the deck. I do think the buggy is very good in, in this deck, but uh, yeah, there are obviously scenarios where you prefer to have bikes. Alright, so let's get the Tick out. This, is, this, for example, is a good place where we have the buggy, because now we can use buggies to counter the lasers, and we don't lose the buggy to the Chuggy. Like, if we were using rifles to counter the lasers... The chuggy would be a huge problem. Alright, nice. So we clean up the chuggy. Let's get this tick furrowed. It's already half... Ooh, uh-oh, Giga Cannon. Giga Cannon is good against my deck, for sure. Now, someone told me that a boosted gunship will take care of a Giga, so we're going to try that. Alright, we're going to have to move up here. Oh, wow. Holy... Holy sugar. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty efficient. That uh, that did a good job. We're going to have to send a cat ship to this bottom pad to buy us time. I don't know if the tick is going to win against those bikes either. Yeah, okay, it does. Nice. That's actually huge, because now we have time to get another unit over there. We don't even need another unit. The tick, the tick, the tick reigns supreme. All right, good job, tick tank. See you later, Tomek. Objective complete. Okay, Bella 123. Not sure what happened to Bella 122. I'm guessing Bella 123 ate them. And again, we should play the game of does Bella have a chem unit for their Jade? I think yes. I think that he's gonna have. I think it's gonna be Chuggy. I don't know. Like I feel like I feel like it's gonna be Chuggy. I think Chuggy is just is just way more popular than Chemical Warriors. But the, with the wheel opening is making me think maybe it's gonna be Chemical Warriors. I'm gonna trap this wheel in and kill it with my laser. All right, cool. Shouldn't have pushed your wheel up so far, my dude. Oh, and his house is in the wrong spot. Rip, rip, Bella. It is Chuggy, as predicted. So we're just gonna chill and wait for a tick tank. And it looks like his bike's going for my harvester as well. Yeah, obviously. Where else would they be going? Let's grab some more lasers. Take out this Chuggy. Get on the pad. He's probably gonna go laser now. Would be my guess. I'm gonna make buggy. I'm also gonna move the tick tank up to block. Let's put the buggy up here for now. Fire the missile. It's mutants. Uh-oh. That's pretty scary. Run, Tic Tac, run! Nope. Got the mutants. Oh, this is not good. I need to catch it, but I can't afford it right now. Oh, dear. I did not see the mutants. I guess I... I mean, I'm, you know, mutant chuggy is pretty popular, so I guess I should have been expecting it. Get the catch on the pad so we don't lose the missile. All right, we'll send the buggy down here. Send the catch up here. And then just block him out and hope that we win the missile. I think we should get it here. Nice. Now we got Tick Tank again. Oh, nice. I even got the I even got the bikes with the cat ship because he wasn't paying attention. Get the cat ship. I'm gonna boost it on these mutants as well. Looks like he's gonna go for my harvester with his bikes, which is fine by me. Whatever, bro. Don't know why I built a buggy there. I should have been rifleman. Oh, he went laser. Okay, I was thinking I was building it to counter laser, but then obviously he has mutants. But then he went laser anyway, so I ended up working out pretty well. Doesn't get my harv either, so that's nice. Get another cat ship, and then we're going to need an answer to a chemical 
buggy next, probably. So we're going to want another tick. Yep, there it is. And we'll boost it down here as well. As long as I block up here, though, I think we just win. Yeah, nice. Got him, boys. See you later, Bella123. See you later. All right, Captain Camelos. Once again, on down the river. Uh, down the river. I really don't like this map. I much prefer playing on flooded fields. He goes dogs first. Okay, so he's got dogs and Jackson. What does this tell us about his deck? Really, very little. I don't. I don't, I don't know of any popular decks that play Jackson and dogs. So yeah, I'm really not sure what he's playing right now. I'm gonna go second laser here. This might be a mistake though. Oh, you know what? It could be snipers, actually. That's that's the deck that plays Jackson and Dogs the most often. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably snipers at the moment. Snipers is a good matchup for me because I have cat ship. Shock Trooper? Okay, well, snipers, I mean, that's still a good matchup for the cat ship. Generally speaking, I think decks like this that go Dogs into Shocks are probably just better with snipers than they are with Shocks. Because I think snipers are just better. It's a better unit. All right, so here comes the Pitbull. Obviously, we'll just hide behind lasers. Oh, and he boosted as well. That's not going to work out well for him. Alright, should get this first missile here. We've got cat ship on top and laser on, sorry, laser on top, cat ship on bottom. Block out these shots. Yeah, nice. So generally the idea is that you make your opponent go pit bulls and then you go tanks. So obviously we're going to go tank now to kill the pit bull. This cat ship's pretty much done for anyway, so I'm just going to try and get some hits with it. I only got one. I was hoping to get two shocks there, but he might put it away in time. So it ended up only being one, which is a shame. We're going to need another cat ship for these shocks, obviously. This is the thing, you want to hunt down pit bulls with the, with the tank in this deck to prevent them from killing your cat ships. Uh, but if you're hunting down tanks, if you're hunting down pit bulls, then you, you're, do, you're not getting the boost from being borrowed, which means that it's just worse than playing... Um, just worse than playing Scorpion, really. I'm actually just going to shoot this and see if I can kill it. Yeah, there we go. Talon, we've already got a Phantom. Obviously not the ideal scenario, but whatever. I need another tank. He's probably going to get another Orca to kill the tank, and then we have the Phantom to kill that. He's got missiles instead, okay. It's fine. The tank, the tank will do okay against the missiles when it's borrowed. Take out this Talon, just hold bottom pad now. Don't have to worry about top. We'll send a catch up there, but it's not really that important because we just hold bottom and win the game. All right, cool. Got him. All right, up against Flint. And once again on down the river. One of the worst maps in the game, in my opinion. Ah, I missed it. Let's get the harvester over there. His harvester's going the wrong place, which is good for us, because it means that there'll be a massive down tick on his economy at some point. Happy to let him charge the missile as well. He's going to go for the 2v2. I think we win this just. Our second guy was a little late, but he was walking into defense. Yeah, we, we win. We win for sure. He also, he focus fired and says split firing, which is worse, because it meant that his other guy had to move up. Whereas if he'd split fired, it would have been like, two even fights. All right, so we're actually going to go buggy. Normally, I don't tech switch first. But with buggy, I make an exception because it's such a powerful early game unit that I want to get it out while it's still relevant. I'm going to try and run away from this guy and get a tick tank. Chuggy is, Chuggy is an extremely powerful unit. All right, we're going to try and get the tick tank onto the pad. We're actually going to need to go buggy and we're going to need to block. We need to micro her tick tank because if we don't block his lasers from getting on the pad, he just wins the missile here. Alright, cool. So we got the thingy. What's it called? The chuggy. And now we're going to get the tick tank to deal with his bikes over here. And then we should win the missile. Yeah, we should win the missile here. Yeah, it's close. We almost lost our stuff top, but not quite. Now we'll get another tick tank. As you can see, the, the biggest issue with the tick tank is how often you want to go and kill things with your tanks and tick tank isn't made for driving off and killing things that's what scorpion is for tick tank is better when you're going to combo it with a unit 
that makes like a really, really good unbreakable combo. And I just don't think this deck has that unit. So I think the tick is just much worse than the scorpion, honestly. There are decks where I'd rather have a tick than a scorpion, but this this is not one of them. Alright, so Phantom takes care of that. Chuggy's almost dead now. Here come some bikes, don't care about those, because you know Tick Tank wrecks them. Looks like he just wants to hunt down my Phantom, not gonna let him get it. And we'll get another Tick Tank. Gonna move this to block as well. I don't want him getting on the pad with my Tick Tank if I can help it. And then boosted Tick Tank over here. The other thing is also ticks are not good with Oxana. Due to the way the uh, due to the way the combination of the burrow damage and the Oxana, like the Oxana increased damage taken and the burrow damage reduction doesn't interact favorably. So when you boost a tick tank that's burrowed, you end up taking like an extra 50 to 75% damage instead of an extra 25% damage. So yeah, I don't really like Oxana with tick tank and I don't really like tick tank in this deck. I think the deck is very good, but I think Scorpion is much, much better than tick in the deck. So yeah, I like this deck a lot. Would recommend this deck. Uh, where is it? Would recommend this deck, but absolutely would play Scorpion over Tick Tank in this deck for sure. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next time.